Hi everyone, I am Sergei Timirev, a Russian watercolor artist. Today, at the moment of uh, the beginning of Fabriana Koreva 2021, I have a lucky possibility to send you all some greeting words uh, and I'm happy to use this occasion. I guess part of those who watch uh, this video know me. However, probably it should uh, to present myself even in a couple of words. For a few uh, recent years I represent and have honor to lead the Russian community of the Fabriana and Aquareva participants. And uh, since 2020 I have uh, the honor to be one of the admins uh, of the International Watercolor Platform, which recently appeared. And uh, before all, I'd like to thank Anna Masinisa for inviting me, joining to her and to our friends Lorin and Didier to start this Fabriana event with our short joint uh, greeting speech. What I have to say and what I'd like to say, dear friends, uh, the most and most important words, my sincere greeting, Greetings uh, to all who link it with watercolor art, to uh, artists, galleries, uh, organizers, uh, watercolor lovers, and just to viewers. My special greetings and deep gratitude to the wonderful team of organizers and volunteers of uh, Fabriana. To all who have been linked with this team in past and who are linked uh, to this team and beautiful place now. So. Fabriana in Aquarela 2021 is starting and the anomalous history of annual annual exhibitions is continuing. Uh, continuing today and opens a new page. It's a happy moment, a uh, moment of meeting uh, which we have been waiting and in which preparation we have participated. And I know how many and many of you have been trying your best this happy moment, also it passing again only online. But I hope the events of these days uh, of uh, Fabriana and Aquarela program will be interesting to you. Enjoy! Uh, and uh, some additional words, my words about uh, the present moment, uh, art and so on. Since uh, our last meeting, our directly meeting in Fabriana passed uh, two years and uh, most part of uh, this time fell on the unlucky pandemic time. Really for many of us these times became so hard and I want to express my sympathy to those who uh, have been touched this really great problem. Uh, <clears throat> I hope our world will return to more uh, good times and uh, I hope we uh, could to see in closer future returning to blessed early times when our artistic meetings uh, were free of any restrictions and uh, <coughs> exhibitions uh, will be uh, passed uh, together with the artistic meetings, not uh, with the empty spaces of exhibition halls. We only could keep hoping and now we can see the small signs of this possibility and the ray of uh, hope becoming a bit brighter and doesn't let our spirit to fall. Uh, we have continued to do what we have to do and I have to say exhibitions uh, of Fabriana it's already tradition and uh, tradition when it formed doesn't dissipate so easily it emerges again and again comes through everything and appear newly and uh, a couple of words about uh, our moment our time um, what could we have to learn from the difficult time of uh, previous uh, year, for 
for example. For me, that was experience of better understanding uh, of uh, past ages life, including uh, artists of past ages life. What I mean? The times of pandemic disasters recurred repeatedly uh, in our world uh, um, since uh, ancient time. And those disasters were not less more strong. But masterpiece creations of world, uh, of art, were created at all times. At hard moments, subject of life and this uh, love and beauty remains the same. Sometimes this subject uh, subjects uh, even sound stronger, as well as the subject of uh, enigma of existence as it is. And uh, the question of human destiny, the relation of artists to the world, the art of um, ancient world, the Renaissance time and so on, are <coughs> samples of this. And uh, this few days of Fabriana in Aquarela 2021 events, we can feel again um, our unity. Our unity as uh, artists and enjoy it. Maybe this feeling will be uh, less acute, but if uh, that feeling had touched you earlier, you won't forget it. I can say from my, myself, this is everything. And I ask myself, what kind of unity is it? Is it um, unity of people who use only watercolor paints? Do we always feel solidarity with mood uh, with each artist who paints only by watercolor? Perhaps, perhaps. But if you uh, see watercolor art is wonderful, so wonderful. The watercolor practice is the most inspiring thing uh, that I know. It's true, at least for me. And the way of uh, the skill growing in the watercolor is endless as well the mosaic of individual artistic manners uh, in uh, watercolor world not uh, not all are masters and not all are professional it's my a couple of words to uh, to new participants to artists who who uh, participate in Fabriana and aquarella for the first time to beginners, to young artists, not of us uh, masters. Not all of our participants have chosen a professional way. Many of us have different activities, really important and respectable, and watercolor is only one of them. But fidelity to the most delicate and strongest art uh, overrides everything. Uh, and also about uh, about uh, beginners and masters, about us all. Each artist, regardless of skill level, is a newbie, like a beginner, when uh, goes uh, by his artistic way. It, if he doesn't reproduce anyone art style, uh, doesn't replicate himself, if he makes namely anything new, he finds himself in the unknown territory. He's like a pathfinder, at least for oneself. It's true, uh, and in watercolor art, this is true as nowhere else, in my opinion. And uh, in this meaning, we are all brothers and sisters by our creative way, the way of eternal newbies and eternal uh, pathfinders, despite our experience. Uh, and uh, so exciting to see the unexpected findings which artists have got in their watercolor adventures. Finally, dear friends, I hope the program of Fabriana in Aquarela 2021 will not remain your indifferent. I hope it will become uh, for many of you like a point from which will start your new step of exploring watercolor art. Uh, exploring of your possibility on this way, wish you inspiration and new exciting findings.